One time I had a kernel come out and I hadn't ate popcorn in a long time. I was like, uh, where did this come from? It's like, say I just came on here because the lighting looks really good right now and I had to record to really see how it look make sure I wasn't tripping uh, who in the world wow I don't think this dude walking to the street I haven't seen him in years at least I think that's him golly <sighs> anyways I'm about to go make that money y'all Let's go make that money, honey. Okay. Oh. Bye, y'all. Obviously, it is much later in the day. So I worked and I got up early and I'm home and I'm about to watch a Lifetime movie that I've been waiting to see. It's gonna be good, y'all. But I'm gonna pop some popcorn. Some popcorn that I've never popped on the stove before. So I'm gonna try to record this and see how it goes. Ooh, I'm excited. Slash, I know I shouldn't be eating that because it's gonna be stuck all in my teeth. Stuff already getting stuck in my teeth because I think my teeth is shifting. It keeps shifting like they, my teeth keep kind of moving. Not literally like, not like I can shake it. Like it's a loose tooth, but I mean like it's like shifting. Oh, getting old folks problems. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop this popcorn off. Let's see how this turns out. Anyways, this is the popcorn I'm gonna make. It has a little handle. You make it over the stove. I'm sure everybody knows about it, but I've never personally made it before. So I really don't know exactly how. I don't, I don't have instructions, but my brother told me you take the little top off. It says lift tab open. You lift that. And you like put it on the stove and just move it around over the heat until it starts popping. Just keep moving it until it's done popping and it pops like a whole lot. So I'm excited. I had got this for me and my niece to pop whenever I had that sleepover for her. This was like this summer. I hope this is still good. Oh, it has a date, March 2021. So we got till next month. I'm right at the end. This February. What was today? February the 24th or something like that. So, it's still good as of today. So, I'm going to pop it. Let's see how this is. I'm excited. But, yeah, me and my niece, we never got a chance to pop it. We was eating all kind of other stuff. So, anyways. Oh, the movie's going to start in three minutes. Let me get the popping, y'all. Let's see how this works. Hey, y'all. I think their instructions are probably under here. I think. Probably. But there ain't none on there. So, lift the tab. Okay. Oh, I'm moving from the start. Oh, instructions. <laughs> okay. 
a gas range or camp stove set flame at medium electric range preheat for three to four minutes at medium high setting why am i late starting this Come, mr thing medium to high i'll say i'll say right there y'all so popping this popcorn my hand felt like it was gonna fall off it took forever to start popping i kept moving it around and around and around and around never start popping i thought something was wrong so it takes a while to start popping just a heads up for anyone thinking of making it Hey y'all, and the, it's a commercial break now, but I'm watching a Lifetime. The movie is called Evil Twin Sister, or Evil Twin. Evil Twin. It's just starting, but it's gonna be good. I saw the previews. So anyways. Doodles. What's up, you guys? So it is the next day, obviously. And... Uh, the movie last night, Evil Twin, was, um, it was all right. It wasn't all that like I thought it was going to be. And I hate the way those movies be ending. It is just like end. And you got to kind of just assume the rest. Like, okay, did they go to jail? Or what? Like, what happened? Did they really, I mean, what? It was just in. That would be on the ground. And it's like, they're not dead though. So, what happened? Hmm? Yeah. So, anywho. It was alright. The popcorn was alright. I couldn't even eat much of it because it almost killed me. A kernel got stuck right there. Right there. It got stuck right there. I literally, I got swallowing and it wouldn't even do nothing. It just like bypassed it. So, I had to stick my finger down there and I felt it and everything. And I just had to pick it up and it came up and i know tmi but that's why i stopped eating popcorn one time i stopped eating popcorn for years i like popcorn but i don't like kernels they like get stuck in my teeth all up in my gum i'm like one time i had a kernel come out and i hadn't ate popcorn in a long time i was like uh where did this come from it's like it came moved down from my gums like it weird okay i, I don't have time for popcorn <laughs> Unless it's puff corn with no kernels. So, but it was a fun experience making that. I never made it like that. But anyhow, y'all, I'm going to go get my oil changed. And I am going to a new dealership. Not a new one, but I mean, I got my other car that I had before this. I got that car from that dealership. And um, I'm switching dealerships because y'all already know the story. How the other dealership did me dirty. They did me dirty, okay? 
they really did they kept my car for a week i had a water leak and they kept my car for a week fixing it said it was all fixed they replaced the water pump some water outlet cool a week later it's leaking water it's still leaking water because all my antifreeze was out of my uh, reservoir and then they and then i brought it back in and they were like oh it's the radiator it's a crack in the radiator it's leaking there so uh we didn't fix that we didn't touch that part so it's not covered under warranty excuse me y'all know it was a radiator the whole time oh let me go y'all i'm gonna be late y'all know how i get to talking to y'all i'm gonna be late my appointment is at one and it's 12 47 oh my gosh oh my camera my backup camera is so dirty i should have wiped it off but anyways, I'm going to get my oil change at a new dealership. Let's see how they go. I hope I'm not there for 50 hours. Because one good thing about the other dealership, they were fast. So, anywho, I will catch y'all on the next clip. All right? Holla. All right, you guys. So, I just came from the dealership, getting my car, the oil change. And I really didn't like being at that dealership i really didn't it's like they i don't know the, the lady waiting on me she was really nice she was she was nice and she was like are you related to such and such and i was like yes i am <laughs> i was like they come here for service you know i was like that's my uncle small town issues you know what i'm saying like i didn't see anyone i knew which is good that's what i wanted but there had to be my last name stood out all the time so anyways i did i it was a uncomfortable i felt uncomfortable there so weird like kind of small town vibes and racist vibes like i don't know i just didn't feel comfortable and they weren't, so many workers weren't even wearing masks. I'm like, okay. Y'all, I'm at the car wash and I'm finna go in. So let me get off here because it's gonna be loud and y'all ain't gonna be able to hear me. pinpoint that I just didn't really care for being there like as so many workers weren't wearing masks they didn't f seem very welcoming I kind of got that small town vibe racism vibe from them and it took them two hours <laughs> I'm not upset right like if, if that's not enough so I was like dang I just can't win y'all I can't win So, um, yeah, I got a debate. I'm going to keep going in them too. Lord. So now y'all, I'm going to go to the dollar store. Where is it? Oh, up here. Yeah, I'm going to go here. I'm going to get some, um, bubble wrap because y'all, I have these. We cleaned out the pantry a few days ago and in the pantry i had some um old school like cookie jars well we use it as cookie jars but it's really like uh i mean it's little containers you could put flour sugar cookies whatever in it but it's like old school it's like from the 60s or 70s my daddy had actually got it i don't know where he got it from from somebody i remember when i was little we used to put cookies in it. My brother was gonna throw it away. I said, don't you throw that away. So I kept it and I'm gonna get some bubble wrap for it and wrap it up and put it in my storage for when I do use it. So 
I try to, if I remember when I get home, I'm gonna show y'all the containers. There's two of them, a big one and a smaller one. So I'm finna, I'm going to a dollar store now. I just pulled open a parking lot and I'm finna get some bubble wrap for that. So, holla y'all. Oh, and I forgot y'all, do y'all like my mask, my homeboy? who y'all saw in the other video who just came down to visit me, my best friend, actually. He had this when he came down, and I was like, I like that. It's like the blue surgical ones that I be wearing. It's like the blue one, but it's, but it's black. Look at it. I love it. Ooh, he ordered me a whole pack and had it shipped to me, so... I got a pack of 50. As a matter of fact, I have the box back here. I was like, they better not steal my, cause they be stealing stuff when you get your oil changed. They didn't stole from me. And I have my box of masks in here. And I was like, I better put it under my seat cause they might steal them. Okay, anyways, let me get in the story y'all. All right, you guys, here goes those containers I was talking about. Now, isn't this 60, 70 ish? So I cleaned them up and I'm gonna bubble wrap them and store them away till later. So cute, you guys. Look. I'm looking crazy. I'm in the bed with my bonnet on. Look at my bonnet, y'all. It's really not that old. I had it for a couple of weeks, but it's already tearing up. You see, I got a little like rhinestone. I got my braids under here. But anyways, I just realized I did not have an ending to this video. So I wanted to come and give an ending. So y'all do not forget to like, thumbs up, comment and subscribe and thank all my new subscribers for subscribing i hope you guys stick around and enjoy my content all right i will see you all on the next vlog Toodles.